Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information on matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated of the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. At the time of making this video, the COVID-19 cases already breached the 7 million mark. About half of these cases are still active cases. Total deaths exceed 400,000. Fortunately, more than 3.5 million already recovered. Relatively, the COVID-19 cases in some states regressed in the previous weeks. Because of this, Lockdowns were relaxed and slowly the people are allowed to engage in the activities they used to do before the start of the pandemic. A lot of health experts are expecting a second wave, a third wave, and probably that's it. But is it really the case? Do you think we are close to going back to normalcy? To answer these questions, it is nice to have some benchmarks or reference in order to make some intelligent understanding of the virus. The Ebola Virus According to the World Health Organization, Ebola virus disease, formerly known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever, is a rare but severe, often fatal illness in humans. The average Ebola virus disease case fatality rate is around 50%. That is quite high and very dangerous, so to speak. Ebola virus, like the COVID-19, originated from animals. It was transmitted initially from animals to humans, then from human to human, until it turned into an outbreak. It was first discovered in 1976 and it still remains and continues to ravish populations. Controlling the outbreak requires a combination of various interventions, namely case management, infection prevention and control practices, surveillance and contact tracing, a good laboratory service, safe and dignified burials, and social mobilization. Plus, the cooperation of the community like in COVID-19 is very important to suppress the spread of the virus. Unfortunately, since its discovery and up to present, humans are yet to provide a vaccine that can neutralize the virus. Scientists around the world worked hard to discover one but none of the vaccines they developed were already licensed. It means that these vaccines are not yet be considered as reliable to be used by the general population. The 11 Ebola virus waves in the Democratic Republic of Congo Since its discovery, Ebola has infected and killed tens of thousands. From August 2018 to June 2, 2020, a total of 3,463 EVD cases was reported, including 3,317 confirmed and 146 probable cases have been reported, of which 2,280 cases died and 1,171 have recovered. The West Africa's Ebola outbreak sparked international concern. In 2014 alone, it infected more than 28,000 and killed more than 11,310 people. Interestingly, this virus tends to recur in Congo. It first hit the said country in August of 1976, June 1977, May of 1995, August of 2007, December of 2008, June of 2012, August of 2014, May of 2017, 
April of 2018 and August of 2018. When the Democratic Republic of Congo is about to declare the end of the last outbreak to be announced in June, on May 31 of the same year, the 11th wave started when the Congolese health authorities identified six cases, including four fatalities, in the north near Mbandaka. Sadly, for the Democratic Republic of Congo, they are facing two deadly and recurring viruses, the COVID-19 and the Ebola virus. But comparatively, they have a low number of COVID-19, which is only 4,106, wherein 538 recovered and 88 died. It may not be comparable to COVID-19 in terms of numbers, but the fatality rate is alarming. Considering that the mode of transmission is the same with COVID-19, we have to realize that there is a possibility that recurrence of COVID-19 is likely to occur in the near future. It is not a matter of if, but a matter of when. If we are not cautious and responsible enough, we may experience more than just a third wave. Therefore, even if the lockdowns have loosened up and the movements of people is almost turned back to normal, we should still be cautious of our actions to avoid catching up COVID-19 or transmitting it to someone else. We should always be mindful of the basic hygiene, which includes the regular washing of the hands or the use of sanitizers, the wearing of masks, social distancing, and limiting of our movement to only the essential ones. Remember that like the Ebola virus, there is still no vaccine available for us to treat directly COVID-19. So the only defense we have is discipline, self-consciousness, and concern for others.